signs and moons. Reading signs and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know, I got to remind people, I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try to do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest or priestess all floating through that comment section. But I also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend somebody's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be somebody in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a past over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me, or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below. Be mindful of the scammers scamming. Make sure that the name of the content creator is highlighted when on their channel. And what I mean by high, what I mean by highlighted is there's a little bracket around the content creator's name when they're corresponding with you. Now that's that only applies when you are on someone's channel. OK, so make sure that you are speaking to the person that you are uh, attempting to speak to. Now, I had to go off in the archives and pull out one of my spreads here. I want to remind people that my work is protected. You are protected when you are in this reading. OK. Now, some of the things that were holding you back in the past. OK. Uh, I want to say thank you for all your donations, your your healing energy, your prayers, okay? Thank you for your loyalty. I do appreciate you. And most of all, thank you for healing, okay? Just like we pick up on the negative energy, we pick up on the positive energy. And I truly wish for you all the best, the best of the best. In the past collective, you weren't using your intuition about an offer, okay? I'm hearing something about equally yoked. This situation was not equally yoked. For some of you, this could play out in the aspect of children, or maybe you are this child. Take it how it resonates. We have intuition to protect. This is talking about, I'm hearing your foundation, your home. Okay, cancer represents the matriarch. This could also be your, your something was hidden from you regarding the offer. With the page of coins being here, I'm going to try to break it down because I, I feel multiple scenarios. OK, so just bear with me. People need to realize that everything they do have an effect on others, on their environment. OK, and so right now we're going into this shift where we want to be a positive influence on people, places and things. Somebody may have felt like you weren't offering enough, you weren't given enough, or they wanted to make you feel like you weren't enough. I feel like you were a person that was focusing on the practicalities of life. All right. Here we have it. This is where you are at now, if this resonates with you. Some of you, you've learned who to give your love, money, attention to by taking risks. Whoever this is that's in the Knight of Stabs energy is someone that you possibly may have created a family with, or this could be about their family if this is your child, okay? If this is not you, this is someone else's energy, okay? I'm hearing that's receiving karma, and that karma has to do with their finances. This person has to penny pitch, hold on to every nickel and dime. This is someone that watched you struggle. But in that struggle, you built something. Yeah, you see that? The wheel started turning in your favor. Okay? This person may have been fortunate in the past with the king of coins. 
I feel like this person cut you off. For some of you, you are this king of coins and you receive some sort of clarity. You have to take it how it resonates because for some of you, this is a warning for the future. Somebody's intertwined with somebody that has a poverty consciousness or they're receiving some karma in their finances. So they may be leaning on you. And this is where this nine of sta knight of staffs comes in. Somebody went between you and someone that they have children with, with the fifth house. Now, for those of you, I'm going to break it down for you. So um, my star seeds, my left ones, my chosen ones. This is about your creativity. OK, this is you needing to be in this night of staffs energy where you are passionate. OK, you bring a young, invigorating energy to your environment. People people are like like to see you. OK, they, they you're very charming, adventurous, or at least people see you that way. Now, what's blocking you from moving forward, collective? And I mean, I mean, well, is your beliefs having to do with finances and stability? Some of you, you feel like you need a counterpart to make yourself whole here. Some of you, you may be a little hot in the pants. OK, maybe, a little, you, you know. It's the holidays. Some of you, you are reminiscing on someone that you may have had some passion with. However, this person I'm hearing is looking for a scapegoat. Now, for some of you, this individual is focused on you. They want to come back. This is somebody that's going to try to trauma bond you or uh, love bomb you or something like that. But this is someone that's stuck in the past. And if you accept this person's offer, if you sleep with this person, they'll make you one of many. You'll be a notch on this person's um belt they're going to come through and they're going to say remember when okay now with the south node being here somebody could have aries leo sagittarius in the south node or this is just somebody that continuously makes the wrong choices they don't think about the future they think about right now this is someone that wants to come in and act like they learned some sort of lesson here but this person is only going to put you back in a turf circle. All right. So you're being guided to move forward. Now, as far as what's blocking you, this could be an actual person for some of you, somebody that you may have some sort of passionate affair uh, with. Now, this could be somebody that's focusing on your finances. This is also someone that may say, um, you know, they they'll come in and say, oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You know, I really I really love you. I want to be with you. I want to build something. OK. Your beliefs about this person is what's blocking you from moving forward. For some of you, you may have recently had a night, a one night stand. OK, or you are uh, anticipating one. If this is not you, this is someone that's in your environment. I feel like this person is doing a lot of reminiscing on the times that you had. Oh, yeah. We got Mars energy, very aggressive. OK, confrontational. Mars next to Leo. This is definitely speaking about some aggression, whether if it's sexual desires or something like that. But this person wants to come in. I feel like in this situation, you may have argued with this person a lot. Now, for some of you, this individual is thinking of a creative way to get back in your head, to get to to put you back in a karmic cycle. Others of you, they may be having some sort of argument in their environment because somebody was waiting for something. Now, either if this person was waiting for you to reach out or they were working with someone to hold you back. And this is why we got the South Node three of staffs. OK, somebody keeps they feel like that this next idea is going to be the one, even though they are in this five of coins energy, having to hold on and penny pinch. This is what somebody wanted for you. They don't realize they are manifesting this, these burdens. OK, and so depending on their girth, <laughs> that's what I heard, is if they're going to come out smelling like a bed of roses. Now, if you like the smell of roses or if you don't like the smell of roses, I felt it was fitting. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's trying to figure out what they're going to say, what they're going to do. This is also someone that if they come back into your life, they're going to juggle you and multiple people or multiple things. This is not your wish fulfillment. OK. Some of you, it took you a long time to heal from this person. You may still be haunted by the things that this person did or said to you. Somebody still needs to heal. Yeah. Somebody's using work as an escape. 
or this person is constantly working, trying to have your energy juggled to make you feel confused or chaotic. And I noticed that we have Saturn here. This person is definitely, for some of you, in a Saturn return. Now, this person does not realize that they are in a Saturn return. So they have limits that are being imposed on them, restrictions. They feel trapped. This is somebody that has to pay the cost to be the to be the boss. Okay. They're supposed to be gaining some sort of knowledge why they are in this situation. For some of you, it has something to do with a commitment, whether if it's a job or if it's a person. Okay. This person needs to tackle their fears here. Okay. This person may have also been secretly working with some sort of group or organization to keep you from moving forward, to keep you from staying focused, to keep you from, to block you from traveling. Uh, but I feel like this is what, what somebody in this scenario is going through. Now, let's see. The five of coins, that speaks about poverty. Okay. It talks about bad health. It talks about isolation. Okay. This is somebody that's taking a financial hit. Somebody may also be having to file bankruptcy or refinance or something like that. This is somebody that keeps doing something repeatedly, expecting different results. In fact, this person may be suffering from some form of insanity or lunacy, taking how it resonates. The last reading had a lot of moons pop up. Okay, so that tells me it's multiple people. I noticed that my readings um, that I've done today... Uh, sp spoke about a lot of illusions, okay? I do know that these people are thinking about coming in and giving you an offer. For some of you, you may have taken this offer in the past. You fell for the bait, okay? This individual is thinking of a creative way to come back in with the fifth house. And for some of you, they're going to use the fact that you are family or that you are soulmates, even twins. But this is past life energy, and this is why this person got a hold on you or hold on your heart space. Some of you, you could have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in the fifth house, as well as Cancer or Taurus. Or you could be a Leo. It just, if the reading resonates, it resonates. Page of Coins. Page of Coins. They're going to come in and say, look, we got a child together. Look, we, you know, I want, I got this new business opportunity or something like that. Okay. For some of you, this is your child. Okay, you may be thinking about a child. For some of you, that child could be passed over that you have with this person. But for some of you, this person is still living here. Okay, and this person is trapped in a repetitive cycle. They have a generational curse that they have to break off of them coming from their father. I'm hearing Papa was a rolling stone. Page of coins, why is this here, please? Somebody's going to try to get you to reminisce. Okay, we're in Cancer and the Page of Coins. They want you to, to stay guessing. They want to keep you on a string. We got, this came out in the last reading. I send you signs through music in sync. So we have, pay attention to what's taking place around you. 11, 11, 4, 4, 4. Someone's thinking about you. 7, 7, 7, 93, 11. <laughs> Five, 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 and ten, ten. So this is telling me that this is 50 50. Okay, for some of you, this person didn't, they lie by omission. They didn't tell you that they was with someone that they have a child with. For some of you, you may have thought that this was your twin flame, but I'm hearing this is your false flame. Now, in a situation where you know that your twin is facing some karma in their finances, they are experiencing the same energy, possibly in different ways, okay? Um, they had to heal something surrounding a mother figure, whether, whether if it's somebody that they have uh, a child with or if it's their actual mother here. This person is using telepathic skills to communicate with you or they were in the past about an offer, this, this person wanted you to wait for them, okay? They have some rose-colored glasses on surrounding possibly a child or a new beginning, or you did. You were guided to use your intuition. Some of you, this person may not have known that you were so creative, that you were so passionate about what you were um, 
in, um, whatever in endeavor that you may have had. You started navigating your emotions and you move forward. This person didn't expect you to do that. Okay. So, yeah, they were in a code codependent connection with someone that they have children with, okay? We got this feels effortless, oneness, radical forgiveness, unconditional love. So I feel like this is my star seeds that took on this energy of unconditional love. You surrendered this connection and you started focusing on your creativity, okay? For some of you, it may have made you feel literally sick, sick to your stomach, so you had to gather your emotions here. Somebody didn't see you as passionate, you may have been healing when you encountered this person in sync. Yeah, happy place. So, yeah. So for some of you, this false flame and or your twin, uh, you know, their mother was a black widow. Now, that's not for everybody. It could be a sister figure or somebody that they have a child with that mother is a black widow. Okay, our father could have could be real diabolical. Okay, but somebody's unstable here, and this unstable individual was gang stalking you. And for some of you, this is somebody that they have a child with or are married to. For some of you, this could be somebody's child that was involved in a gang or something like that. Okay, some of you, you use your work as an escape. Or this person does with clairvoyance, see the future. This is telling me definitely that you were connecting with this person uh, on the 5D in the fifth house. Ah, look at that struggling with the ties that bind. So you definitely cut this person off or they're cutting someone off. And they're in a struggle with it because it's somebody that they love or you love. We got seeing isn't necessarily believing something was overlooked. That also came out in the last reading. And interesting enough, look how many cards is in this deck. So somebody is realizing that they got used to make someone else jealous. Okay, you may be realizing this or someone that they are dealing with is realizing this. I feel like this person judged a book by its cover. OK, somebody may be trying to research uh, you. This person may be into the uh, esoteric studies or occult knowledge or somebody kept some sort of secret. This could be like a diary or it could be the book of shadows. OK, somebody's trying to block somebody's creativity, trying to block their passion. We got to leave the past behind, clear all stagnant past energy. Right next to that, we have Archangel Sarah Kill watches over the spirit of sin in the spirit realm okay secrets so this is a lot of things happening in the dark because somebody's being a follower here so we have you divine feminine energy transmuting that negative energy we're talking about creating out of chaos you are somebody that is self-made this is what you had to do to awaken your solar plexus to give you strength courage power this person was using your heart against you you may have felt powerless in this um, in this situation. And that's how somebody wanted you to feel because they were energy harvesting. Again, somebody was dealing with somebody that had a black widow type of energy, whether if uh, they are the child of a black widow or they are connected to one. OK, we got escape and contradiction. So somebody, whoever this is in this night of staff energy is realizing that they're with somebody that is contra uh, a contradiction. They try to justify their actions with excuses. Now, this person was able to escape some sort of illusion, some sort of incantation. They may have actually read something, okay? Could be some sort of document, something that may have to do with finances or something that came from the court or like a test or something, DNA, a DNA test. And so somebody is trying to keep somebody stuck. This person may be realizing that they were getting used for their finances. If they were with somebody, if they were with somebody that had... Uh, a poverty curse on them. They definitely is taking the 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 brunt a brunt is that how you say it the brunt of that. Okay, so they're starting to lose. We have prison. <laughs> Hope, hopefully, it's not no prison break. Okay, it could be a riot or something like that. But this person felt trapped. They wanted you to feel trapped. For some of you, you may not have heard from this person because they may be locked up. Okay, having to do with. I'm hearing their gut. 
Somebody didn't trust their gut. And, you know, for some of you, this person didn't leave. Didn't, excuse me. <laughs> Ooh, indigestion. This person didn't leave in the nick of time here. Because they were stuck in the place where they felt like they felt bind, they felt bound here. They thought that they knew this person. Okay, somebody felt like love would would, would break some sort of negative energy that this person may have had. Okay. I feel like for some of you, this is a child, whether right? if it's your child, then another child could be a grown child. But uh, this is giving me somebody's false flame or somebody's twin that is experiencing this. OK, somebody may have gotten out of jail and went right back to jail. Somebody may be praying. Yeah. Somebody takes their child's mother for granted is also what I'm getting. This person may bail them out. And they keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. And so now somebody's taking a financial hit with the king of staffs. This is telling me somebody's working on their creativity. Easily could be a Leo. Somebody's working on their finances here. They feel a blockage in their finances. It's because they're still intertwined with somebody that's trying to keep them trapped. Now, they may be fighting some sort of case. I'm seeing somebody may have an ankle monitor or something like that. Your beliefs. Somebody needs. Somebody is fighting a case. I'm going to tell you that right now. Somebody needs to stop using. SEX as a weapon because that's definitely what's taking place. Somebody may have thought that they seen you doing something or seen you with someone, but there was some sort of misconception about that. Okay. I'm hearing something about payback. All right. So we have a king of staffs here. So this person is, is a healer. Um, they could have some psychic abilities. Okay. But they could also be, again, healing their finances, healing their heart. Somebody could be into record keeping. Archangel Metatron is significant. Somebody could also be a Virgo. This person is definitely focused on whatever they are building. Somebody could be in politics. There's something happening in somebody's workspace, though. We have fraudulent works, false paperwork, police reports, CPS, will trust estates and insurance. And then right next to that, we have proved them wrong. I feel like this king of staffs is watching you some somehow. They may feel like you changed here. For some of you, you may work around this person. You could be like a front office staff. If you're working a building, somebody may have came in with some false paperwork or there was some false paperwork filed on this king of staffs. So this person had to defend themselves. I did. Um, I'm hearing something about a case. I did a reading where it talked about someone was paying for somebody's legal defense that participated in doing something wrong to my collective. So there was definitely a risk that was taken in the past. We got hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. OK, so, yeah, this is somebody that continuously does the same thing over and over and over and over again. I feel like somebody could have. Uh, South Node in Leo. Okay, Aries or Sagittarius, most definitely, because there's too many indications. Now, for some of you, this is a child that has that South Node. Could be their sun or their rising. But it's also like you may have multiple fire signs or multiple people that are in that energy of lust. Okay, there's three or more people working together to keep someone stuck. Okay. Possibly because you have some sort of second sight or first sight or sixth sense or something like that. This person was trying to block your ascension. Here we have the Empress card. You are somebody that's loved and respected. You have a powerful spirit and people idolize you, whether if you, you know, whether if you know it or not. OK, somebody's definitely on your on your trail here. This could be somebody that they had as a secret. OK, we got I get what I want. And he knows my gender. For some of you, this is somebody that they had as a secret lover, a secret rendezvous, somebody that they either vacation with or they met on vacation. This was a soulmate of theirs. This is somebody that they didn't learn from the past. What? OK, 
This is somebody that took this person off course. This person may be envious and jealous of you. This is somebody that they needed to leave behind that is a part of trying to keep someone in a toxic cycle. Three of staffs, why is this here? Oh, yeah. We got cheats. Harsh, repeats, pass, um, energy. And, you know, for some of you, this is an absent parent. This is somebody that is rude. So this is a part of this little circle here that's trying to rain on your prey with stars can't shine without darkness. There may have been a fight in this group circle here. Somebody was using uh, fairy glamour, okay, calling on fairy spears or something like that. We have a right brain sided. Wish granted, this is about your creativity, thoughts versus reality, fairy, fairy glamour, and indirect methods. So if you are feeling like a headache, lethargic, second guessing yourself, that's negative energy that's being sent to you by this tribe here. Okay, these, uh, these people that's waiting for some results, they are continuously doing this, trying to block off someone's heart or manifestation. We got regulates. It regulates the star season actions of all mortals, deities, hidden emotion, stroke, heart attack, a split between male and female energy. So but I do believe that they're trying to keep you from being balanced, trying to keep you from being grounded. They want to throw you off track so you're not able to manifest. OK, now somebody in this situation may end up having some sort of health issue. OK, if they're not doing this to you, for some of you, they're not. You may be feeling what they're doing to your counterpart or your ex. Yeah, allies, their allies, their family and friends. OK, so it is just like just what I said. Their family and friends that are working, trying to keep someone stuck. We got too much masculine energy and here we have it. Judged by 12 or carried by six peers. Somebody misjudged you in a situation. Somebody may be feeling like something is coming to an end. We got struggling with the ties that bind. So somebody didn't want this uh, karmic cycle to close. Okay. This is someone that if this was in the upright, hopefully this is not you. This is someone that wanted to be lied to. Okay. Just to keep this person around. So I feel like you move forward. They wanted you to be in this negative headspace. OK, they wanted your light to, to, to dim, to dull. This is somebody that's struggling with the ties that bind, not my collective. And I feel like you're getting a bird's eye view of what's taking place, the karma that these people are receiving. Now, if you want to know or not, that's up to you. But for some of you, it's your time to know. And that's the reason why it's coming out. OK. Now. Some of you, because this is a group activity, because we did see the 11th house, this is somebody friend circle, family circle. You're not going to know all these people's signs. Now, you may be a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or somebody in this situation or scenario is you could be dealing with um, um, ascended masters. We got to stay focused and grounded. And that is the guidance for you collective. We got to surrender your need to always be right. Mm -hmm. Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielded, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. And right next to that, we got the high priest. So remember when I said earlier that somebody's masculine is a high priest. Okay, here I come. All right, I got to I got to go. Deuces.